Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, respiration, question, uh, question number one. Donation of energy from ATP involves this type of participation in reaction. So ATP is basically the energy of equivalent bond se li jati hai, or 7.3 kilocalories from the terminal breakage of covalent bond, so alpha. Number two, glucose metabolism fate in the cells follows. Glucose uh, metabolism storage bhi ho sakte, glucose ki oxidation bhi ho sakte, glycolysis ke baad pyruvate mein. Or pentose phosphate pathway bhi follow kiya ja sakte. So delta is the right option. There all are the possible pathways. Number three, the number of ATP molecules produced during preparatory phase of glycolysis, they are actually zero. Because in preparatory phase, there are two ATP used to hurry, then step one or step three, pe, produce new yoga. Produce only ATP molecules, then payoff phase or oxidative phase. Which of the following reaction produced ATP due to substrate level phosphorylation? We know step number seven of the glycolysis. This is the run. 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate jai wo 3 phosphoglycerate mein convert hota hai. So number 4 mein Charlie option sahi hai. Which of the following is known as link reaction? So link reaction basically hai acetyl coenzyme A ki formation which can link a variety of substrates as well as glycolysis to the Krebs cycle. All of the following are products of glycolysis except. So right option is carbon dioxide gas, because uh, glycolysis is CO2 produced, it will be a Krebs cycle or pyruvate oxidation to the produce hogi. Number seven, complete oxidation of one glucose up to Krebs cycle produces how many ATPs? Or CO2 or NADH? We know that glucose, the Krebs cycle tak up to link ke oxidize hota, to isme six CO2 produce ho rahe hai, because one pyruvate oxidation to the run, two Krebs cycle mein, and we know for one glucose, these steps will be repeated. Number eight, the cytochrome C of the respiratory chain is the terminal cytochrome, which is the cytochrome A3, which is cytochrome oxidase complex class component, hai, so delta. Number nine, oxidative phosphorylation is the production of, it is basically ATP formation during respiration, specifically respiratory chain, because ATP is made of ATP. The electrons carried by NADH and FADH2, they can be they can be moved between proteins in the inner membrane of the mitochondria or ATP synthase that unke hai wo, gradient jo hai wo, establish on ke baad, hydrogen ion proton pumps ke, hydrogen ion move karenge or ATP ki formation jo hai wo, so number 11 EMP pathway has the potential to producing a total of ATPs after complete oxidation of glucose. So EMP or glycolysis may a glucose ki complete oxidation ke baad the number of ATP was six banenga wo is tarah se ke do ATPs net jo glycolysis mein bante jabki baaki ke char ATPs NADH se kyunki NADH jo glycolysis ke dauran produce ho rahe hote hain unka potential 3 ki bajaye par NADH Two ATPs ke equal hota hai. So as a whole total six ATPs produce honge. Number twelve, the end product of aerobic aspiration includes CO2, water as well as energy. Number thirteen, the reduction of NADP to NADPH is seen in hexose monophosphate shunt pathway. Iske dauran jo hai wo NAD positive se NADPH produce hota hai beta. EMP or glycolysis are jante hai ki baat or Kelvin cycle mein NADPH utilize hote hai rather than being produced. Number 14, the total energy produced by one glucose molecule after producing 38 ATPs. Prokaryotes mein net ATP 38 hai, ab isko 7.3 kilocalories per ATP molecule. Usse multiply kiya jai, to aapke paas answer aayega 274, so alpha. The direct source of energy for the ATP produced by ATP synthase comes from actually the direct source of a proton gradient. So beta. Which the following is not a true statement regarding cellular respiration. Cellular respiration may multiple enzymes and electrons having high potential energy at the end is a wrong statement over here. Because at the end electrons are in low energy state. 
and they lose their energy as they move down the gradient, move down the pathway through cellular membrane proteins. So beta is me aapke paas wrong statement, ke baaki is me right options hai. Why is the fermentation an important metabolic function in cells? Fermentation ka key purpose hi hai ki usme jo glycolysis ke dauran use hone wala coenzyme hai, NA depositive, usko regenerate ke, kiya jai. So right option hai beta. As you can see, fermentation mein purpose hi hota hai ki NA depositive usko dobara se regenerate karke glycolysis carry out ki jai. Taki glycolysis ke dauran ATP produce ho. Ethanol is actually toxic to yeast. As it approaches a concentration of about dash percent, it begins to kill the yeast. So ethanol ko dekha gaya ki 12 percent concentration ke baad yeast ke liye toxic ho jata hai. Isliye jo initially derived alcohol hai, unme 12 percent tak ethanol hi hoti hai. So when there is a plenty of ATP within the cells, all of these reactions will be blocked due to blockage of phosphofructokinase, electron transport chain, Krebs cycle, glycolysis, these three will stop. So delta is the right option. Number 20. Almost all molecules catabolized for energy are converted into acetyl coenzyme A, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins. Most of them, they are metabolized by formation of acetyl coenzyme A. So beta is the best option. Thank you for listening. That was all about respiration MCQs. Se pehle video mein aap logo ne bioenergetics se related hi 20 MCQs almost photosensitive ke bhi observe kiye. Isi ke simple level ke MCQs dekhne ke liye aap is video se related jo link hai subscription iski jo description hai usme observe kar sakte hain. Thank you.